everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. I recently bought a DJI Osmo Action, and like a lot of these little cameras, one of the things that is a downside is that there is no microphone input. So I bought the Synova audio adapter made for the Osmo Action. So I'm going to unbox this bad boy. We're gonna hook it up, try it out, and see how it is, and get a little comparison between what the original, original audio sounds like and audio with an external microphone using the adapter. So let's unbox it and try it out, and here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is the Synova Osmo Action Dual 3.5 millimeter and USB-C adapter. Um, yeah, it says here this is the Synova Osmo Action D uh, on with uh, with AXA, excuse me with authorization and a little branding on that side. Um, another little sticker on this side. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and open it up. There's a little tape, so have my handy dandy box opener here, which is my Benchmade bug out for those of you that are curious. And let's pop that tape and let's get this thing open and see what it looks like. So um, I've had, I've heard some really mixed results about this thing. So some people like it, some people don't. I think the people that haven't liked it has been because it doesn't fit on their case very well. I think some of the people may be using different cases and, um, and so may have had some trouble with it. Um, yeah, all right, that looks like that is it. And let's see, there is um, some instructions in here that are not in English at all. Oh yeah, that's, I guess they're in English. It's just hard to see because it's very, very small there. So, all right, there's that certi certification thing there. Here is, uh, the, here is the adapter here. So let's just take that tape off and we can see here, this is the USB-C port that's gonna go into the camera. And then this is the 3.5 millimeter um, uh, audio jack that's gonna go in. And then you also have on this side another USB-C port because you can actually uh, plug in. So if you are interested in, um, in charging your device at the same time, you can do that. Or if you just don't wanna unplug it, plug this to charge it, you can plug in right there to, uh, to get that going. So now to do, to make this work, we actually have to take off a door on the Osmo Action. So we need to go ahead and take it out of the frame right quick. And then this door right here, this is where you have your audio, your uh, USB-C and your memory card. So we need to pop that off there. It's very easy. It pops on and off simply. And when you want to put it back on, you just simply uh, slide that out a little bit and line it up and get it in there. So it can be a little tricky sometimes, but it pops back in there. So um, yeah, anyways, I'll get to it later. We're not gonna use it right now anyways, because when you have the audio adapter on, you can't have the door on. So, um, so basically what you wanna do is just simply uh, plug this in. And I guess it looks because this can go either way, you can have the microphone pointing in either direction. So um, because I'm gonna use this mostly for vlogging, I'm gonna go ahead and just push it with the, see if I can, oh, nope, it's not gonna work either direction. It has to go towards the back the way this is designed. It's gonna have to go towards the back. So there we go. It snaps in like that. Now, the true test is, will this work once it's back inside the cage? Because you need this in the cage so that you have, uh, so that you can actually mount it to, uh, to different things, to whether it's a selfie stick or to a, uh, a chesty or a head strap or something. So the test is, will we be able to get this in there and have this uh, mounted up? And you can see here, this cutout and this cutout are matched up. So we're gonna go ahead and push that. And yep, it looks like it's snapped right in there, no problem. So yeah, so we look like we are good to go. We have the audio, I mean the, uh, the USB-C port there if we wanna charge, and we have our, uh, our cable, our port there. Now, the only thing that's a little bit off about this is that there's no mounting point on here for a, uh, for a microphone. So I'm gonna use a little microphone that just plugs directly in there and see what that sounds like. And then I'm gonna probably have to go get another uh, another adapter that will allow me to have like a cold shoe on here somewhere so that I can actually um, mount a microphone. But let's go ahead and plug in another mic, an external mic and try it out and see what it sounds like. 
Okay, so now that I have this plugged in, let me just show you here. This is a little microphone that I use. It is an Editage ETM-001 microphone. It's an omnidirectional microphone, so it doesn't really matter which direction it's pointing. It will pick up everything around you, so it's gonna sound just as good if it's in behind the camera or in front of it, top or bottom. It's gonna sound great uh, no matter where it is. So um, all you need to do is simply grab it, plug it in right there, and just make sure it is pushed all the way in. You hear the little snap. I did this the first time, it wasn't all the way in, so just make sure you have it all the way in. And now when you hold it out in front of you, the camera out in front of you like this, even though the mic is behind you, it's still gonna pick you up just fine. So um, I'm gonna go outside and test it, and I'm gonna compare this with the audio, what it sounds like when I'm um, using just the camera audio, and then we'll plug this in and see what it sounds like with this as well. And I think I might even plug in a wireless mic and see what that sounds like. All right, so here I am now. I am recording with the Osmo Action just using the built-in microphones of the camera. I'm going to uh, go ahead and plug in my Editage ETM-001 microphone and we'll see what that sounds like. So let's go ahead and plug it in now. All right, so I have the Editage ETM-001 microphone plugged in. And yeah, let me know, if, can you tell if there is a difference between the external microphone and between the, uh, and between the built-in microphone. So right now, I can't tell the difference because there's not a way to, audit, to monitor your audio while you're recording. So, but this is the Editage ETM-001 plugged in to the Osmo Action uh, using the DJI Osmo Action using the Sinova audio adapter. So the one last thing that I wanna try is using my wireless microphone system. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to actually plug in my Ceramonic Blink 500 wireless mic. I already have it clipped underneath my shirt here. So I'm just gonna plug it in. And unfortunately, because there's nowhere to really mount a microphone on this camera, I'm gonna go ahead and just hold the wireless receiver and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just see what the uh, wireless mic sounds like. So uh, yeah, let's try that now. All right, so there we go. I now am using the Ceramonic Blink 500 wireless microphone system. And yeah, this is, this is really easy to use. I like this um, because you have the microphone right here. I can clip it on the outside or on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it right quick. You can hear that when I tap it. So it's very easy to conceal. This is one of my favorite uh, microphone systems. So the only thing is with this particular camera, there's no way to really mount it. So I'm gonna have to buy an adapter so that I can actually mount microphones on here. And, uh, but other than that, I'm curious to know what this sounds like as well. Uh, I want you to let me know down in the comment section what you think about each of these different mics, whether it be the wireless microphone, the Editage ETM-001, or the built-in microphones of the camera. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a look at the Sinova Osmo Action audio adapter. This is going to give you a 3.5 millimeter audio port. It's also gonna give you a USB-C port for charging and it fits really nicely onto your camera. It plugs right in. It works when using your, uh, your included uh, cage that comes with the camera. And yeah, it's fantastic. Now, there are a couple things to be aware of. One, the port door, do not lose this because you'll need to reattach this when you plan on making your camera waterproof again. So if you're going to the beach or the pool or snowboarding or something like that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have this plugged in, uh, this uh, door, this port door attached so that you actually will have your camera waterproofed. Now, there's a couple of other things to be aware of, like one, when the audio adapter is plugged in, your camera is not waterproof. Now, the other thing to be aware of, too, is that I did not see any settings on the camera to allow you to adjust to your audio levels when you have an external mic plugged in there. So some microphones are gonna be way hotter than others. Some are gonna be way quieter than the others. So like this is an Editage ETM-001 microphone. It's a high sensitivity microphone and it's very, very loud. So I don't know how it's gonna sound on the camera. I'm gonna find out when I watch this video, but just be aware that some microphones are hotter than, uh, and, than others. And because there's no way to adjust the, the levels right now, you'll probably just have to test some different mics and see if you can get a microphone that works for you. So yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna leave links to the Sinova audio adapter down below. I'm also gonna leave links to the Osmo Action and the microphones that I use in this, uh, in this uh, video. 
and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave links to also to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts as well. So now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace. Peace.